What is up amigos? Today we're talking about vortex filaments and sheets and this is in an effort to show how you can decompose really any object in potential flow in terms of vortices, vortex filaments and vortex sheets and then use that to then calculate the lift over them. So to begin with, let's say we have a regular line, it goes along and we have a circulation to it. So it it rotates around. So this is effectively a vortex at one end, a vortex at another end, and we have a line connecting them. And this is really just a vortex the entire way, just stretched out into a line. That is called a vortex filament. And this vortex filament has a circulation of gamma, let's say. Little gamma, because big gamma is usually used, and we'll use it later on, but little gamma. And we can have a whole bunch of lines, which are all running effectively parallel to each other. And they all have their own circulation around. So they're all vortex filaments. And this then effectively creates a sheet because we have all these filaments very close together and we can approximate it by looking, this is an isometric view, by looking straight side on, we get more like a, a view like this where we have these vortex filaments, five, five, okay. And then we have a line connecting them effectively and they run from A to B and they all have these rotations. So these vortex filaments by themselves is just one entity. Putting them all together, you can then approximate them as a vortex sheet. Now, going from A to B is, we'll use the value S, and gamma, little gamma changes with S along because we have all these different vortices with these vortex elements with different little gammas, different strengths. So that's all well and good. And now let's say we have a point in the flow here, and let's call this point D. And from here to the third vortex filament is a distance r. Now, the length that this third vortex filament will act over is effectively halfway to halfway approximately. And that distance is ds. So ds is referring to this distance here that this third vortex filament is acting over. And we know that if we were to multiply a uh, gamma dot ds, that is the resulting strength of this vortex filament for this region. And we know from other videos in, in terms of vortices that every vortex will induce the flow around it. So we know that this part of this vortex sheet will affect this point here and it will induce some kind of flow around it, it will push it somehow. And we know what the velocity is dv, this is the induced velocity on this point based on this small section here, is minus gamma dot ds on 2 pi r. And this is important because the 2 pi r part comes from a uh, circumference of a circle and the gamma dot ds is the strength of this small part here. So in terms of the velocity that this section here is inducing on this, that's quite easy. But we know that all of these points are going to be inducing a velocity here and every other point in the field as well. So that's quite difficult to go through manually and figure out each single one. So it's better to figure out what the velocity potential is because we know from this video that you can decompose the velocity potential into different regions, into different points. So as long as you know what the coordinates are, you can figure out what the velocities are at that point based on the velocity potential by deriving different properties. So the velocity potential for this small section of this vortex sheet, d phi equals minus gamma dot ds on 2 pi theta. And this actually comes from this video here where we looked at the vortex flow and we derived the velocity potential for the vortex flow. And this is in terms of x and y anywhere in this um, region here. So we want to integrate along the entire point because along this entire sheet because that will give us the entire vort uh, velocity potential and then we can derive any vortices, any velocities in this field. So the entire velocity potential as a function of x and y, just integrating this entire thing from a to b, the sheet, gamma dot ds on 2 pi, and we're going to put a theta here, which also came from that video. And this is a constant, so we can move that out the front here. So that then it goes to minus uh, 1 on 2 pi, which go from a to b of gamma theta dot ds. So that is the velocity potential for this field. Knowing what the gammas are for this sheet, we can figure out what the velocities are that have been induced around it. And 
if we were to figure out the entire gamma, the big gamma so of the entire sheet, we just need to integrate all of these little gammas along here with respect to the um, region that the line that they act over. So that is integral from A to B, gamma dot ds. And that actually then feeds into the color Joukowsky theorem where the lift per unit length is rho infinity v infinity gamma. Now, this is all well and good, but how does this really affect us and how, why do we really care? So let's take this line here. It doesn't need to be a straight line. It can be a curved line. So let's say you have an object that looks like this and you have these vortex filaments along it. Well, you can do the exact same thing for this line and figure out what the circulation is around it, what the velocity potential is around it, all these different points that it's inducing. You figure out what the length, the um, lift is of this region. And you don't even need to have a open shape. It can be closed shape as well. So you can have a cylinder and you can do the same thing where you have all the vortex filaments around it, go through the exact same process, find out what the phi is for this entire object, and then figure out what the induced velocities are around it and the lift of it. And you can even have other objects. So a, an airfoil, for example, which is what we use this a lot for, and you have the vortex filaments all around here, and they're all separated by dot ds, and you do the exact same thing. So any object really you can do this with and find the velocities that is inducing around it and then the circulation of it and then the lift of it. So that's it in this video. If you'd like to make sure to click the like and subscribe button and we'll see you soon. Peace out, amigos.